What's happening Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. This may be the USB headset you've been looking for. I've had Plantronic stuff before and I've really enjoyed it and I needed another USB headset. I wanted something more compact, you know, with good audio pickup quality for conference calls and things like that. It does come with this little mesh bag here, so you do have a little carrying case and then you get the headset that looks like this and it actually looks pretty premium and actually looks like kind of a nice uh, you know, premium audio headset. You've got this perforated leather, fake leather up there and it's padded but it's still pretty thin, pretty round. Everything about it is kind of minimalist. You've got this gunmetal plastic here, uh, the highlights, and then you have kind of these black matte plastic arms that go down and then a little more gunmetal plastic down there. So they look really nice. Even the ear cups here are that gunmetal color. We have some peekaboo cutouts here, so you can see, I don't know, just a, kind of a textured plastic through there. Um, and you can see that they, slide very easily in and out. There's some little detents holding them in place. The ear cups themselves are pretty standard. You know, they are just, again, like a pleather vinyl material with perforations, so they'll slip over the ear. But then on this side, what you'll have is a boom microphone, and what's nice is it's actually kind of flat and flexible, so you can kind of move it around. You don't have to worry about hitting it and knocking off your headset. And again, that um, gunmetal finish down on the microphone end. This thing is wired, and as I was saying, it's USB. Uh, we get a ton of cable. I mean, there's a bunch of cordage uh, linked up here, and unlike some of the braided nylon cords, this is actually very thin. And then we have an inline controller right here. So we have a mute button, and then we have uh, a little telephone button right here, and so that's probably here, hang up, or uh, answer, play, pause. And then in the middle here, we actually have a little rocker switch. It's just a little kind of simple rocker switch, which is kind of nice volume up and down. And then we also have a little metal clip right there so you can clip it to your shirt. And then we have a very long cable that goes to a standard USB-A plug. And I really am excited about trying this out. So let's record some audio with it. And I will tell you what the audio that I hear on my end is, and you be the judge of how well you think this little bad boy works. I went ahead and plugged the Plantronics into my computer, just uh, straight in, plug and play. It seemed to discover it. I'm just hitting the webcam recording software, so uh, don't blame uh, the, the video on the Plantronics. That's Logitech's fault. But uh, these headphones, I mean, they're really comfortable. I was listening to some audio and uh, the sound is great. And I really like the fact that they're small. They're not like really big, uh, completely over the ear. They're just kind of on the ear. So they're nice and small. They're minimalist. This would be great for work. And one of the things that I was thinking about, like I said, taking phone calls, web conferences, uh, podcasts, whatever it might be, this might be a great way to kind of throw something on and you be the judge of how good the audio quality is. Does it pass for recording something like a, uh, an audio podcast or uh, a video or, you know, commenting or commenting on a conference call um, or a WebEx or a Zoom call or anything like that. Um, you know, I just think they're really convenient. You can just quick hang them on a hook. They're really super comfy. And, you know, I really enjoyed the Plantronic stuff. I used to have one of the earbuds for, you know, Bluetooth connection to Bluetooth calls, and it worked really well. And people actually said that they thought I was on a landline. And so that's why I really went and picked up these because I've had a good experience with Plantronics. So I'm hoping that they're pretty good. Now the headset itself is pretty expensive. It's not the cheapest one out there, but my thought is, hey, you know what? Why not give it a shot? Uh, go with the name I know. And if it's as good as uh, they can be, and they have been for me in the past, then I should be pretty happy with it. So like I said, you'll be the judge. If you want to pick these up, I will put a link to them in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out.